Hello Internet, I just wanted to do a quick video tutorial because it will save me a bit of time. Um, I recently had a client running a extremely old version of PHP BB form um, that didn't have native support for just plugging in SMTP credentials. Um, and they needed it to be able to send emails to be able to do the password reset functionality. Um, I say all that because, you know, um, these days usually you can just, you've got your SMTP provider such as Gmail or your own mail in the box form. Um, and it's usually very easy. You just plug it in. Um, and that's that. Linux has, uh, the days of old. You used to just, uh, well, it, in fact, some applications still use it. Um, but, uh, in PHP world, um, you used to just configure your send mail. You used to configure the server. And uh, used to do that. Uh, just install Postfix, then configure and plug in your SMTP details, and then it was fine. Unfortunately, inside Docker, um, that wasn't straightforward or easy. Um, so I dug around the internet. And I found this thing called SSMTP, but that didn't work for me. Um, ran into an issue, and then I found out that MSMTP is being maintained, uh, and it worked and did everything I needed. So. To prevent myself and perhaps all those going through all this pain, uh, in case you have this ex issue, um, I created a code based tutorial um, for resolving this where I do just, um, it's all there for you. So I'm just going to go through it real quick. Um, if you want, you can just clone the repo and get started, but it's very easy. Um, I, I generally find that like with these things, it, it helps to have a little bit of explanation behind it. So um, that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to walk through the various parts uh, just in case your your configuration is different. The The main thing is um, to use this, uh, just follow, follow the instructions. You're just removing the example extensions from any file that has example. Um, you This code base, you, you want the email address that you want to send an email to. Um, so that's, that's what that is. I put in the env file. Um, and the main bit is this MSM, I can't pronounce it, MSM TPRCC conf whatever file. Um, especially where you want your logs to go to if something goes wrong. Um, the, the, you start with the defaults that it's got this concept of accounts, which will match up to um, whatever email you're trying to send from. But I think most people are going to be like me, you only have the one account, and I've done something special because of that. But because of that, it might have multiple accounts. You got this defaults thing. Um, yeah, so we're just we're setting defaults to on TLS is on set the log file. I did explain this. This is quite waffly, but it's um, these important bits that I felt like needed explaining because I wanted to force all emails to be from this one particular email. So no matter what, if the application tried to send us something else. Um, my, my SMTP server that I set up would actually reject it. It only allows the emails to be from the email address that it's the user and password. So, um, I found that if I set these three things, um, that it would force all the emails that went through the send mail interface to, uh, use this email address. So it'd come from that address, no matter what the application or whatever called send mail with. Um, so you set the from header, which you set it to on because that overrides it. If it even if it was set, the default is auto, where it would only set if it's not set. But we want it to always set it. Um, we're not allowing the if you put dash f on the send mail, we're not allowing you to override the from with that. So that's why that's there. This setting isn't available in earlier versions. So if you had Debian 11 instead of 12, that option isn't there. Um, which is unfortunate. It does mean if someone puts dash f, um, that will override the override, which is, so it would be from whatever they specified. Um, and this is the email that you want to, for it to come from, which with mail in a box and probably Gmail needs to be the email address you're authenticating with. All right. Um, this is just, uh, so that you, the certificates, um, that you trust, whatever, um, that does require you to install the CA certificates package in the Docker file, which I've done in this example code base. You need to plug in the, um, this is just a name for the account. So you can set that to anything. If you're doing Gmail, it's called Gmail, whatever. This is your, their SMTP host. I'm, I'm assuming you could, your SMTP, it might be mail in a box, dot my domain that will come, whatever. Um, again, ports and everything is dependent on your SMTP server. 
And then obviously your username and password, if you're using Gmail, this would be like my email at gmail.com. And your this would be your one time password or whatever your um, application specific password, I think Gmail calls it. Uh, with mail in the box, it would just be your password um, for that account. And you set your default, which would be whatever. I mean, if you just left this alone, it would work, you know. Um, even if you're in Gmail, it's just a name. Um, and sorry, going back to here, uh, if I go back, do, 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 um, the important parts are the Docker file. I'm doing, I'm just doing Debian 12. I do most things Debian 12. Um, I'm setting a non interact That's just standard like Docker stuff. Update, updating the server. So you can ignore all that. That's nothing specific to this. Uh, what is specific is, um, if you want the certificates, then do that. SM, MSMTP is the key thing, obviously. And then this, M, it's actually technically just the client. Um, you need to install the MSMTP-MTA package for it to, over, to create the send link for the send mail. So anything on your server that uses send mail will actually go through MSMTP. And then these are just optionals for like, I wanted to mess around inside the thing and manually send emails through MUT or mail utils. And cron was to keep the um, container running in the foreground process if I needed it. So you can ignore those, they're not important. Um, and then I wrote a startup. I have, have an entry point or command for a startup script. I find that that makes life easy um, when you mess with Docker. So you can just change whatever without changing the Docker file. Um, and obviously the startup script, I'll go there right now because it, yeah, we just set, just tells you um, the email it's sending to. That's this is the body of the email. So it uses mail s to set with a subject of test email to that email, and that's it. Um, it's just to demonstrate the point that it works. Um, I th and then the Docker Compose. This is only important because you need to um, use the obviously we pass the environment variable through, and we are um, copying or well, it's it's mounted inside uh, the MS. I put a conf extension on. It's, it doesn't have that, but it doesn't matter because we're just mounting it there, read only. Um, yeah, if you know Docker, like that's all straightforward and easy um, and nothing um, you're not familiar with, with that. Um, and then now I just want to demonstrate that the thing actually works. I'm not just uh, speaking. Yeah, um, so if I go, yeah, I've got, I've got the code base here. Um, there's nothing sensitive on the screen. And if I do Docker Compose up. Yep, sent. Hello, Internet. I just wanted to do a quick video tutorial because it'll save me a bit of time. Um, I recently had a client running a extremely old version of PHP BB form um, that didn't have native support for just plugging in SMTP credentials. Um, and they needed it to be able to send emails to be able to do the password reset functionality. Um, I say all that because, you know, um, these days usually you can just, you've got your SMTP provider such as Gmail or your own mail in the box form. Um, and it's usually very easy. You just plug it in. Um, and that's that. Linux has, uh, the days of old. You used to just, uh, well, it, in fact, some applications still use it. Um, but, uh, in PHP world, um, you used to just configure your send mail. You used to configure the server and, uh, you used to do that, uh, just install postfix, then configure and plug in your SMTP details and then it was fine. Unfortunately, inside Docker, um, that wasn't straightforward or easy. Um, so I dug around the internet and I found this thing called SSMTP, but that didn't work for me. Um, ran into an issue and then I found out that MSMTP is being maintained uh, and it worked and did everything I needed. So to re prevent myself and perhaps others going through all this pain, uh, in case you have this ex issue, um, I created a code base tutorial, um, for resolving this where I do just, um, it's all there for you. So I'm just going to go through it real quick. Um, if you want, you can just clone the repo and get started, but it's very easy. Um, I, I generally find that like with these things, it, it helps to have a little bit of explanation behind it. So um, that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to walk through the various parts uh, just in case your your configuration is different. The the main thing is um, to use this, uh, just fo follow the instructions. You're just removing the example extensions from any file that has example. 
um, you this code base you, you want the email address that you want to send an email to um, so that's that's what that is I put in the end file um, and the main bit is this MSM I can't pronounce it MSM TPRCC conf whatever file um, especially where you want your logs to go to if something goes wrong um, the, the you start with the defaults that it's got this concept of accounts which will match up to um, whatever email you're trying to send from but I think the most people are gonna be like me you only have the one account and I've done something special because of that but because of that it might have multiple accounts you got this defaults thing um, yeah so we're just we're setting defaults to on TLS is on set the log file I did explain there's this is quite waffly but it's um, these important bits that I felt like needed explaining because I wanted to force all emails to be from this one particular email so no matter what if the application tried to send us something else um, my my SMTP server that I set up would actually reject it, it only allows the emails to be from the email address that it's the user and password so um, I found that if I set these three things um, that it would force all the emails that went through the send mail interface to uh, use this email address so it come from that address no matter what the application or whatever called send mail with um, so you set the from header which you set it to on because that overrides it if it even if it was set the default is auto where it would only set if it's not set but we want it to always set it um, we're not allowing the if you put dash f on the send mail but not allowing you to override the from with that so that's why that's there this setting isn't available in earlier versions so if you had Debian 11 instead of 12 that option isn't there um, which is unfortunate it does mean if someone puts dash f um, that will override the override which so it would be from whatever they specified um, and this is the email that you want to, for it to come from which with mail in a box and probably Gmail needs to be the email address you're authenticating with all right um, this is just uh, so that you the certificates um, that you trust whatever um, that does require you to install the CA certificates package in the docker file which I've done in this example code base you need to plug in the um, this is just a name for the account so you can set that to anything if you're doing Gmail to call it Gmail or whatever this is your their SMTP host I'm, I'm assuming you could your SMTP it might be mail in a box dot my domain dot com whatever um, again ports and everything is dependent on your SMTP server and then obviously your username and password if you're using Gmail this would be like my email at gmail.com and your this would be your one-time password or whatever your um, application specific password I think Gmail calls it uh, with mail in the box it would just be your password um, for that account and you set your default which would be whatever I mean if you just left this alone it would work you know um, even if you're in Gmail it's just a name um, and sorry going back to here uh, if I go back doo -doo -doo -doo, um, the important parts are the docker file I'm doing I'm just doing Debian 12 I do most things Debian 12 um, I'm setting a non interact that's just standard like docker stuff update updating the server so you can ignore all that that's nothing specific to this uh, what is specific is um, if you want the certificates then do that SM MSMTP is the key thing obviously and then this M it's actually technically just the client um, you need to install the MSMTP MTA package for it to, over, to create the send link for the send mail so anything on your server that uses send mail will actually go through MSMTP and then these are just optionals for like I wanted to mess around inside the thing and manually send emails through MUT or mail utils and cron was to keep the um, container running in the foreground process if I needed it so you can ignore those they're not important um, and then I wrote a startup I have I have an entry point or command for a startup script I find that that makes life easy um, when you're messing with docker so you can just change whatever without changing the docker file um, and obviously the startup script I'll go there right now because yeah we just set uh, just tells you um, the email it's sending to that's this is the body of the email so it uses mail s to set with a subject of test email to that email and that's it um, it's just to demonstrate the point that it works um, I th and then the docker compose this is only important because you need to um, use the obviously we pass the environment variable through and we are uh, copying or 
well it's it's mounted inside uh the ms i put a conf extension on it's it doesn't have that but it doesn't matter because we're just mounting it there read only um yeah if you know docker like that's all straightforward and easy um and nothing um you're not familiar with with that um, and then now I just want to demonstrate that the thing actually works. I'm not just uh, speaking. Yeah. Um, so if I go, yeah, I've got I've got the code base here. Um, there's nothing sensitive on the screen. And if I do Docker compose up. Yep. Sent an email to my email address, and then. Yep, here we go. No reply. Test email. Test email body there. So yeah, um, that's that. I uh, just wanted to demonstrate it works. It was a major pain in the butt getting there. Um, I don't like it when things don't necessarily support SMTP. Um, but yeah, um, if you ever get stuck and you need that, hopefully this was helpful to you. All right, thanks. Have a good one.